My name is Will Carmack and I'm going to be showing you how to animate tutorials for Instagram and TikTok today. As a visual effects artist, I go hard as heck and it's a mix of good vibes and motion graphics when I break down how I make my animations. And so in an incredibly meta way, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how I make tutorials on Instagram. And all of this useful information was funded by Squarespace. So our first mission is to create a custom interface or UI of the software we want to teach people from. I'm going to use Photoshop. So the first step is to take a screenshot of the screen and all of the pieces that you want. And because I'm picky, you don't have to do this. I'm using the Topaz upscaling software to make this a high resolution image. And then if I bring this back into Photoshop, I'm cutting out all the pieces that I want to create a nice looking interface within Instagram or TikTok. And so when I'm building all these pieces together in After Effects, there'll be these very obvious gaps in space where the UI that you screenshotted and masked out isn't filled in. To fix this, I'm just creating a black solid and then using the eyedropper tool to select the interface color. And with the mask, I'm just filling in all the gaps that are black. Pre-compose this so now your UI is one big own layer. And since this is kind of like a border, to give it some depth, we'll just apply the drop shadow effect. And on this same interface layer, we'll put the glow effect and we'll crank up the threshold so it's only affecting the widest parts of this image. And then to make this interface kind of stylized and look digital, we are going to add the effect Venetian blinds. If we turn the direction to 90 degrees and make it like 10% completion, it'll give us nice little digital lines. So now we have digital lines and glowy icons. And if you want like specific detailed pieces like this crop tool, we'll take a specific screenshot of that against a completely black background in Photoshop. So when we bring it into After Effects, we can use an effect called Extract, which only affects the light and bright values of an image. And if we get rid of the blacks with this effect, you are left with just the crop tool. And if we pre-compose this, bam, now we have a high resolution individual crop tool that we didn't have to buy or download. And now to make a high resolution, and custom alpha channel that you don't have to download off Google. We're gonna create two black solids, make one brighter than the other one, lay them on top of each other and apply the checkerboard effect to the top black solid. If we set it to stencil alpha, bam, you've created a custom stylized alpha channel. You can play around with the checkerboard effect to make the alpha channel look however you'd like. And if you're feeling crazy, put an adjustment layer with the optics compensation effect over top of these two black solids. And if you crank up the scale after setting the reverse button, it'll give the edges a nice stretchy look. And let's say you want to do something similar to this little dragging reveal effect. All we're going to do is take our original clip, make a small mask of where you want to stretch out. And in the layers panel, we're going to select this layer, right click and hit layer styles. Under layer styles, we're going to add a stroke, crank it up to three. And also in this layer styles panel, we're going to add a drop shadow. All we've got to do is animate the mask path to stretch out and we get this cool motion graphics reveal look. And then Google mouse PNG, download whatever you find or whatever you like. I'm linking this to a null and animating the position to move the mouse to where this dragging effect is happening. So I'll do my motion graphics first and then add the mouse last. And so now if you want the mouse to interact with your interface, this is how I create button clicks. Duplicate your interface layer and create a mask where this icon is and with the curves adjustment, just animate it to get bright and then dark, simulating a button click. And lastly, let's say you want to reveal any kind of information or background and you want a cool pixely digitally look like this. In your effects and presets, type in line sweep. That is an awesome pixely transition that you can just animate the angle and completion of. And now if you have all of these pieces and you have this giant software animation you want to make and then link every single layer to a null, you can animate the position of this null and it looks like you're seamlessly flying around your software. And the classic one, if you want to animate text in the uh, text folder in your effects and presets, you want to use typewriter to get the cool natural type look. And if you want to get this good digital blinker text cursor thing, you want to type in blinking cursor typewriter console in the effects and presets menu. <laughs> or just type in cursor and click the first one that pops up. Up. And finally, to get a great, cool motion graphics bounce effect, use this expression on uh, literally any transform option, like scale, position, rotation. I found this in a Cinecom article years ago. I'll link it in the description below, but this is the best 
expression ever for motion graphics. Whew, all right. I think those are all of my tips to make tutorials for Instagram or TikTok. If you have any questions about any of these effects, comment down below, I'll answer them, or message me on Instagram, I'll message them. Well, I'll respond to them. And it's time to thank today's incredible sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you gotta do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you wanna sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.